the brother posed the question in Hindi. I'll give the translation in English. He said that God loves, even he loves God, human beings love God. The moment you love God, all these good qualities I mentioned about honesty, about charity come automatically. So is it required that we should follow the commandments mentioned in the Quran? Is it a requirement? Brother, if everything comes automatically, you will automatically follow what is mentioned in the Quran. But everything doesn't come automatically to everyone. You understand? So what Allah wants, if you love your creator, for example, I say that I love my mother. I love my mother. My mother tells me that, my son, don't tell lies. No, I love you, mother. But what is the harm in lying? My mother says, get for me a glass of water. Mother, I love you very much. But I don't get the glass of water. I am sick, please get some tablets. Mother, I love you very much. If I don't obey the commandments of my mother, what is the use of this love? It is useless. It is a lip service. <laughs> Therefore, Allah says in the Quran in Surah an kabut chapter 29, verse number 2, just by saying you believe, Allah will test you. If you say you love, I Allah ko love karta hu. Allah will not leave you, Allah will test you. So just by saying you love Allah, or just by saying I believe in Allah, or believe in God, Allah will surely test you. So this life is a test. Now when you go for the test, if you don't know the rules and regulation of the test, there'll be a problem. For example, if you sit for an examination, first you try and find out what is the portion of the examination, and then you study that portion. So what Allah has said, certain things are inborn. I agree with you. Certain things, qualities, honesty, charity, it comes inborn. Allah has put, but many things we don't know. Not having alcohol is not inborn. Certain things that charity is inborn may come like if anyone is suppose anyone is tortured, you feel hurt. Certain things are inborn. Not to gamble is not inborn. So certain things are inborn, certain things are not. So what we have to do, we have to follow the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Allah says, this life is a test. So unless you do not read the commandment of Almighty God, how will you pass the test? Why do I say read the Quran? Because this is the only book which is the revelation of Almighty God which has remained in pristine purity. According to Sir William Moore, who is a staunch critic of Islam, he was forced to write. Forced means he was compelled, he had no option. That there is no book on the earth which has remained as pure as the Quran for the past 12 centuries. He said this 200 years back. Even a critic, he had no option. He couldn't lie here, he had to say, so compared to all the other scriptures of Almighty God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he sent several revelations. By name, you know four. Torah, Zabur, Injil, and the Quran. Torah is the wahi, the revelation which was given to Moses, peace be upon him. Zabur is the wahi, the revelation which was given to David, peace be upon him. Injil is the wahi, the revelation given to Jesus, peace be upon him. And Quran is the last and final revelation which was given to the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Otherwise, Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Rawad, chapter 13, verse 38, we have sent a revelation every age. There were many more revelations sent. By the passage of time, they have got corrupted. The only one which has remained in pristine purity is the Quran. That's why I say that if you want to follow the real command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, follow this. And if you being a Hindu, if you ask me, how do I prove it? You have to come for my talk on the 18th of January on Sunday for similarities between Hinduism and Islam.